three towns dressing room just half an hour before the uh, kickoff of tonight's West Yorkshire Cup final. Second year running that Street House have been in this final and the lads gearing up for action now. And in a moment we'll be uh, having a word with the Street House coach Trevor Bailey to see how he feels the game's going to go tonight. And here we are in the uh, Street House dressing room now with Trevor Bailey, the uh, Street House coach. We're going to have a few words with him. Trevor, it's been another highly successful season for Street House this year. What do you put it down to? Well, you've got to, uh, as far as we're concerned at Street House, the lads' dedication and commitment to, uh, to playing for the club and to training. Um, the attitude, the whole setup of the club is good. The committee do their part, the players do their part. And uh, it's just a very good amateur club. You, you would, uh, as far as I'm concerned, you'd have to find, uh, you'd have to go many miles to find one better as an amateur setup. But credit though to the players, they've, they've had professional type coaching and they've responded to it. It's been very hard, and there's no no moaning and groaning. They just get on with the work, and uh, I'm very proud of the lads. Very proud of them. And uh, how do you see this is the second year running across Street House have been in the West Yorkshire Cup final? How do you see tonight's game going? In fact, Trevor. Well, uh, I wouldn't put any store by being the second year running because this is a, an entirely new team. We've uh, we're five out of last year's team that's available tonight, but um, overall there's only one forward playing who, who played in last year's uh, cup winning side. So um, as far as we're concerned, it's an all no ball game. It's a it's a cup final, and uh, it won't be easy game. It'll be a, a very hard game. We're preparing for battle. We're preparing for war, and uh, whichever way they want it. We're ready. How do you rate the uh, Normanton A side? In fact, do you, do you find it a surprise that they've made the final, Trevor? No, I've got great respect for Normanton. I coached down there for 12 months and uh, I know that they've got a very good setup of Normanton. And whoever pulls the jerseys on, the 13 who pull the jersey on, will be committed to Normanton as our players are for Street House. So uh, I have no qualms. It'll be a very hard game. No, uh, no worries on that score at all. And amongst your own players, anybody to watch out particularly for tonight, do you think, Trevor? Yes, I think if you mark 1 to 15, you, you won't be disappointed with our lads. <laughs> Thanks very much, Trevor. You're welcome. Let's get thinking about it now. Attitude, they're going to get it tonight. We're going to show what tackling's all about. We're going to show what teamwork's all about. Spirit, and that's to win this cup. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! And here I am with uh, Gordon Long, the secretary of Street House uh, Amateur Rugby League Club. Uh, second time in the final in two years, uh, Gordon. Are you looking forward to tonight's game? Oh, great. I think uh, after losing them 11 players from last year and reaching it again is a bit fantastic. Highlight of the season, you would uh, imagine. Then, yeah, you can't ask for anything more. Of them. Done very well against Street House in, in the Sunday League, Gordon. Can I ask you, as secretary of the club, is there any thought of perhaps moving into the Saturday League uh, over the next season or so and going for a higher grade of football? Or? Maybe so, but uh, we're just building again, like. We lost 11 players and we've done well to add a zone in that uh, league this time. We'll have to talk about it in the season, like. A lot of young players in the, again tonight, I see, Gordon. Are, are they all ready for tonight's action? I think I'll run, run and mock myself, I'm not all right. I'm hoping so, but... <laughs> Thanks very much, Gordon. And here I am now with uh, Graham Blakeway, the Normington A coach. How do you see tonight's game going, Graham? Well, it's a game with the Premiership Division side at Street House and we're at the Division side. Underdogs, but as you know, underdogs are out, gonna have the day and I think they're gonna have the day tonight. I think Norman's gonna put one on them tonight, definitely. Lads are well prepared for this fray then yes, tonight. They're ready, raring to go, they're gonna kill for me tonight, and that's how it's gonna be out there. They're determined to win. It's only twelve for this second team's gonna win this season. And we're definitely gonna do it tonight. And where, where are your strengths tonight in the Normanton side, uh, Graham? would you say? Well, we have a small but a mobile pack and we're hoping as tackling is going to get winners of battle. If we win 1-0, tackling has proved its job. Otherwise, we've got two good centres, good wingers and we have a goal kicker that can kick them from anywhere on park. So we're hoping from at least 10 or 12 points from the goal kicker. But up and down, we have a good all-round squad. 
and I'm pleased to be all to do with these lads. I would imagine that you're very proud to be in this final tonight, Graham, but it's not often the third division side reaches the final of the West Yorkshire Cup. True, and as I've told lads, what they've done in rounds previous against Charleston, Walton, Joke York, that's by the by. If they win tonight, they can create the own history of the first third division team to win the West Yorkshire Cup, and that's what we're aiming to do tonight. Thanks very much, Graham. Cheers, mate. Best of luck tonight. <laughs> to uh, Post Office Road, Featherston Rovers and uh, once again we're here for the West Yorkshire Cup final tonight to be fought out between Normington A and Street House and uh, if the game is anything like the, the two or three previous games that I've seen here at Post Office Road in the West Yorkshire Cup final it'll be a real cracker. I had the privilege two years ago watching Normington play against Shaws and a Dave Finch inspired Normington won the trophy on that occasion. Last year, of course, it was Street House's turn as they beat local rivals Charleston in the final. Who knows what the outcome of tonight's game will be? Well, we'll only know that at the end of the game. Now, both teams are lining up to be presented to the one and only Neil Fox, one of the all-time greats of rugby league. And in a moment, I'll run through the teams for you. a splendid scene here at Featherston Rovers, the uh, new floodlights beaming down upon the post office road pitch and they really do light it up like daylight. What wonderful facilities there are at this uh, little ground at Featherston Rovers now and again I'm sure the West Yorkshire League will be very grateful to uh, Featherston Rovers for the use of their facilities, changing room pitch, floodlights and all. I'd just like to say a word on behalf of the Street House uh, Secretary and Committee and Players, a word of thanks indeed to Arthur Crossfield. As you note, the uh, Street House players are in green tonight, uh, green and blue, and the, uh, the strip has been made up very quickly uh, by Arthur Crossfield when it was found that they would clash with the Normington A colours and once again the kit is being sponsored by Pete Downham and Downham Transport. Number six, Andy Conway. Number seven, Mick Gore. Number eight, Alan Waddle. Number nine, Larry Carter. Number ten, Dennis Bowery. Number eleven, Nigel Shepherd. Number twelve, Neil Webb. Number thirteen, Nick Smart. Substitutes, fourteen, and we're gearing up now for the action and I'll run through the teams for you. First of all, the Normington A side. At full back, Phil Summers. Number two, Jeff Day. Number three, Richard Davis. Number four, Simon Hudson. Number five is David Walker. And at standoff, we have Andy Conway. Number seven is Mick Gorn. Number eight, Alan Worrell. Number nine, Larry Carter. Number ten is Dennis Bowery. Number eleven is Nigel. Shepherd with number 12 Neil Webb at loose forward there's Nick Smart and number 14 Barry Crossland and number 15 Wayne Westwood the street house side number one Darren Harrison number two Gordon Long number three Dean Pearson number four Paul Allington number five Andy Kerman number six Kevin Dawson number seven Rob Moore number eight Adrian Hurd number nine Nigel Curtin number ten is Terry Lee and number 11 is Craig Orm, with his second row partner being Steve Hepworth and at loose forward is Chance League. Substitutes for Street House, number 14, Sean Bonson and number 15, Terry Leake. 
and the referee for tonight's game, Mr. Whiteley, and the touch judges, Mr. Palmer and Mr. Broom. And we're all ready for the action now as uh, Mr. Whiteley gets the game in motion and it's Normington to receive the ball. And out they come with it now and that's good tackling there. And I'm sure Normington will be uh, trying to drive the ball away but a good tackle there from Steve Hepworth. Make sure no ground is gained. But this is good running here. But again, that's good tackling as Dean Pearson is in quickly to knock his man down. And there's Hepworth again. Just slowing the man down enough for uh, Kev Dawson to complete the tackle and the ball back there and a high kick. And not an easy ball to take that. And Gordon Long knocks on. The referee calls scrum down, Mr. Whiteley, with the head and ball. This time, indeed, for the first scrum to Normanton A. It will be uh, McDonald to put the ball in. Referee laying the law down early there. And the penalty going there to Normanton A. So, so some early pressure from the underdogs in this final now. Indeed, it's going to be uh, David Walker to put to touch from a place kick and he finds a good touch there and there's some early pressure now for Street House can Normanton A get the early points on the board and it's going to be Dennis oh and a good run there but the ball's lost and Street House have it thank goodness me Larry Carter was driving for that line there he could only have been half a metre out there, but again the ball's lost. And Normanton moved tight to move it out wide, but again a mistake. And it's uh, early lost possession on both sides as Street House come up with the ball. And uh, Rob Moles there settles it down, takes the ball out of his own 25, and there's going to be a penalty here. Not releasing the player early enough, not letting him get up to play the ball. A penalty to Street House. Then it will be Kev Dawson to put to touch. He also placing the ball to uh, to find his touch. Makes very sure of it. And it, now it's Street House's turn. And another penalty. This time against Normanton A for offside. What will Dawson decide to do this time? It's going to be another kick to touch. This time a punt. Again, touch is found successfully. And here comes Street House once again. Well, that is when we find a ball. And a driving run there from Adrian Hurd. Met by three Normington tacklers. Again, good running there. Terry Leak this time, charging towards the post. And the referee again has caught Normanton offside. And this surely will be a chance of two points on the board for Street House. Well, well, well. Normanton have come right back from the other end of the field. Three penalties given away there. Needless penalties really. One for holding down and two for offside. And here's a chance for two points for Street House through Kevin Dawson. Lines the ball up and strokes it through with great aplomb and that's two points to nil in favour of Street House, the Premier Division side. Street. 
And perhaps those uh, early two points will have settled straight house down. Vital to get the first points on in the game. Young side, this uh, street house team. Here's one of the youngsters in it. Looked a little high there, but Chance Leak brings it away. And there's Nigel Curtin. Once again, uh, good young player. It's time Stephen Hepworth. And again, Curtin wants that ball. He's wanting work tonight. Back it goes, the long kick downfield. And it's a good one, it's uh, certainly Peg Normington back. And uh, just a little bit of a fumble there from Jeff Day, but he's uh, managed to recover. And good running there. Normington away from the play of the ball there, but uh, good tight defense there from Street House. And uh, Dennis Bowery there makes a good five yards or so. Does his job as a prop. Oh, and the ball's loose there. Recovered by uh, David Walker. Bit of a dangerous moment there in the Normington ranks. And the ball kicked for touch. And it's found touch there by uh, Larry Carter, the uh, Normanton hooker. Cool night here at Post Office Rovers as the uh, ball comes out. Oh, and this is great stuff. Street House open it wide straight from the scum. Oh, there's a beautiful ball. Oh, great running from Gordon Long. That's tremendous play from Street House there. Really enterprising play. Moving the ball out well from the scum. And here it goes again. Here's Kevin Dawson trying to find a gap there in the Normanton defence, but unable to do so as he's well tackled there by Rob Moles. Oh. Uh, I do apologise by right, Mick Dawn. And once again, Normanton are caught offside. Right in front of the foot post, or almost there. And of course, Kevin Dawson will elect to kick a goal again, I'm sure. Indeed he does. Here's Kevin Dawson again to uh, successfully slot over his second penalty. And that makes the score now. Street House 4 and Normanton 0 through two Kevin Dawson penalty goals. That really was some good play there from Street House to uh, set up the position for the penalty goal. Um, the ball has gone dead. Roll dead there, touching goal, so it will be a drop out underneath the post. So a chance for uh, Normington to uh, mount some pressure on the Street House line, try and get some of these points back. That's a long, long kick, a long, deep kick there. Good kick indeed. And away come Normanton through centre. Richard Davis there. And he's met by three tacklers and he's taken some putting down. There's some uh, moaning there from the Normanton supporters about the tackling there, but uh, that's not nothing wrong with uh, number eight. Adrian Heard coming in there to knock his man down. He was still stood up. But the penalty in the end has come to uh, Normington 8. This time it's going to be Dennis Walker to try and tag on two points. kick is uh, some 40 yards out but he stroked it beautifully what a kick that is an absolute belting kick there from David Walker of Normington it's really put Normington back in the game with a vengeance a really cracking goal kick there will have lifted the uh, Normington spirits and here they are to re receive the ball again and well taken there as they come away from their own post Steve Hepworth there, or rather Chance leaking on the tackle. Very 
is again. Number eight, Alan Worrell, trying to clear his own 25 as Normington move the ball out there to uh, Neil Webb. It's going to be a kick this time as uh, Andy Conway puts a deep one down, but uh, that one won't find touch and Street House have the opportunity through fullback Darren Harrison to come away with it. Now, good run from him before he's put down there. Beat one man. This time it's uh, Street House's turn to uh, take the ball away from their own 25. Here's Steve Hepworth now. to Curtin, could this be a try coming here but uh, well tackled indeed there, didn't see Adrian Hurd charging up on his outside there Curtin, but a good run, good work there from Street House as they press on the Normington line now, what will accrue from this, a little chip through but well taken there, but again the ball's lost and uh, the referee gives a knock on. Head and ball goes to Normington. And it's won by Normington, the ball's out there. Oh, but uh, I'm sure the referee will call a knock on there as uh, Paul Allington was unable to control that uh, bobbling, bouncing ball there. ball to Normington but uh, Rob Moles is very quickly around that scrummage there. Nick Smart trying to drive away there but uh, not really getting anywhere and still penned inside their own 25 Normington looking for a little bit of inspiration from someone. Could it be now? But again tough strong tackling from uh, Street House, Paul Allington that time in on the tackle, making up for his earlier mistake there. Craig Orm that time is in on the tackle. The kick through this time comes from uh, Richard Davis, but it's well taken, and here comes Street House on the charge once again. What a good tackle. Hepworth again looking for work. Gets the ball away nicely to his scrum half. Bowles gets it away, Adrian Hurd. Oh, well, he's still got it. It's play on, the ball's gone backwards. And the referee says back to one as Kev Dawson comes up with it. And here's Moles again. Gets it to Hepworth. This time it's out. Oh, great stuff. As Dean Pearson charged for the line there. And out it comes again. Moles, Curtin, Dawson going himself. Met there by Alan Worrell. Curtin goes for the line and he's over. A try there for Street House. Nigel Curtin, he saw that line and he was sure he was going to get there. And that now extends the street house lead to eight points to two with the goal kick to come from captain Kevin Dawson. And he lands it. To make the score now ten points in favour of Street House and two to Normanton. A typical little hooker's try, that one from Nigel Curtin there. He drove over from the play of the ball. But the position was well set up with good play from the Street House side, including Adrian Hurd and uh, scrum half Rob Moles. Here comes Street House again. Fullback Darren Harrison. There's Curtin again. Does he want some work tonight? He's fired up for the action. Out it comes. Oh, well picked. 
picked up by Hearn, tries to keep the ball free, but he's eventually pulled down there. Good work from the prop, but good tackling also from Richard Davis of Normanton. As Curtin has also grounded there, his chance lead. Good ball. Oh, this is great stuff again. As Pearson goes for the line. And he's hauled down on the 25 yard area. Oh, a little kick through from Malls there. Follows his own kick up and makes the tackle along with Pearson. Trying to catch Normington unawares there. The referee calls a halt in play as there is another ball on the field. Normanton threw uh, loose forward there. Nick Smart trying to play the blind side. But the street house tackling is strong at the moment. Nick Smart brought down just uh, inches short of the 25 yard line there. And a little move around the play the ball, but uh, I'll tell you, Craig Orm was having none of that. He was taking a man with the ball. But. Uh, the kick through there from uh, Richard Davis finds touch, but still pending their own uh, their own half. Normanton, they really need to get up into the street house half and put some pressure if they're to get themselves back in this game. The Premier Division side certainly seem to have the upper hand at the moment, but uh, a good win uh, against the head there for. Uh, Larry Carter of Normington. Now what can Normington do? Oh, and a gap there. Ball could have gone out there, I think, to uh, Simon Hudson. But it's still going. And Adrian Hurd there, across the top. Really went a little high there on uh, Nick Smart and the referee didn't see it, but the touch judge did and uh, he's having a stern word with, now with the uh, street house open side prop I want no more of that Sonny <laughs> Ted Dawson going over to uh, see what the outcome is but I'm sure the outcome is a penalty to Normanton Here's David Walker again to find touch. And he's landed a belter. Well, some uh, 10 yards out from the uh, street house line now, Normanton. Could this be the chance of putting the try on the board? And there goes Dennis Bowery driving for the line. Standoff Conway goes to the play the ball, this time he uses his other prop, Alan Worrell, and he must be inches short there. And the ball come out, it comes out to Conway again. It's gone loose, but it will be play on. And Normington still mounting the pressure. Oh, well done there. Neil Webb got the ball away well. And it's still loose. It's play on the whole street house have come up with it. And they'll drive it away through the forwards. There's Curtin again, he's made another 10 yards there. At the time it was uh, Craig Orm who uh, made the ground. Oh, nice little dummy there from Moles. And I'm afraid one of the street house players is down at the moment. It's Adrian Hurd. I hope it's not too serious. No, indeed, he's, uh, he's up and playing again as the ball goes into the hands of uh, David Walker. And he makes a, a good run there as he uh, slips past one tackler. But he's brought down on his own 25 by Adrian Hurd. And Hurd's in again there, along with uh, Stephen Hepworth. And I'm afraid it's uh, Street House this time who were caught offside. Very keen on this, uh, the referee, Mr. Whiteley, tonight. Quite rightly, too.
Wants to make sure that the, the game's an open one, I'm sure. Now then, can David Walker pump another, another of these uh, tremendous touch finders in? Indeed he does. It's another good one. Well, uh, Normanton coming back into the game now. Again, Dennis Bowery, that blindside prop for Normanton, driving towards the post. This time it's uh, Alan Worrell, takes the second drive. Now, have we got a move set up here as Andy Conway puts it on there to uh, Richard Davis, is trying to get the ball away but unable to do so. There's Conway again, slips it inside, oh it's a good ball, there must be a chance here, oh and the ball's knocked on with the line at his mercy. Well that was a golden opportunity from Normanton, good play there from them, but I'm afraid the, uh, the points have gone a begging. And a scrum down is the result. And indeed the ball comes out to Moles, the uh, street house scrum half and he's certainly having a good first half this scrum half for street house. Oh and good running from Chansley, looks to offload, unable to do so. This time it's Adrian Hurd. Big lad this uh, street house, open side drop forward, Curtin gets the ball on. Tackle. I'm afraid. Uh, I'm afraid one of the uh, street house lads. I can't see who it is at the moment. Is it's laid out? It's Terry Lee. Terry Lee uh, down at the moment. The referee lecturing. Uh, Referee lecturing uh, Nick Smart there about an alleged high tackle. I would say the uh, Normanton fans weren't in agreement with that decision. However, a penalty it is, and here comes Street House again. This time it's. Uh, Terry Lee taking the first drive and here's Adrian Hurd. Bulls sets it up for Hepworth. He steps inside one man, gets the ball loose. It's play on. Bulls gets it to Lee. Lee goes for the line. But he's well tackled there underneath the uh, Normanton post. Hepworth. Oh, he's going for the line. He scores. It's a try. Stephen Hepworth extends the street house lead to 14 points to two as he charged through that yawning gap in the Normanton defence there. Good try from the uh, second row forward there. Percent record so far. Can he slot over another one? to put Street House even further in command. Well, you can't get a much better than that. Street House 16 and Normanton 2. <laughs> well, how the game changes. Just a moment ago there, uh, Normanton were charging towards the Street House line and knocked on with the line at the mercy. And seconds later, it was Street House who come away to score the try through Stephen Hepworth. And they have the ball again now. As Curtin goes once again from the play of the ball. And the Premier Division side really got the tails up at the moment. Good short ball there. Craig Arm coming on to that one, but he's well tackled there. 
Richard Davis. Another tackle, Moses. Jinking and ducking and dodging. He looks to have lost the ball in the tackle, but the referee didn't see it. And the kick deep down, and uh, David Walker has to bring it away. Oh, steps around his man beautifully. Oh, good run. Good run. And uh, trying to uh, look for support. Beat the first man well. Try to use his pace down the outside there and give the uh, Normanton a bit of uh, inspiration with what would have been a spectacular try, but the cover was across. Enterprising play from the wingman, but uh, after all, it was the first tackle, but it doesn't really matter because in the end, the penalty goes to Normanton. And here he is again, David Walker to put to touch. As uh, the smoke drifts across Post Office Road here. But again, he's found a good touch. He's certainly uh, got some skill at this touch finding game, this uh, Normington wingman. Larry Carter. On to Alan Waddle. He's met there by Nidge Curtain. And a knock on. And the referee spotted it straight away. Heading ball to Street House. Balls to put the ball in. The referee lecture in the front rows. And it's out. Well, it was out to Street House, but very sharp work there from uh, Mick Gorn as he takes the ball. Now can Norman to get a try on before half time. Oh, well played then. Mick Smart stepping inside his man. Ball goes out there. This time Dennis Bowery held up some eight yards short. And good running from second row, Neil Webb. But he too, what, some three, four yards out now. The street house tackling strong, and that's the, uh, the fifth tackle. A little chip through. And an offside decision, I think, given here by uh, Mr. Whiteley, indeed, in favour of uh, Normanton. And uh, not going for the goal, tapping and charging for the line, but uh, met by the street house wall. And the ball's loose, and it's play on and back to once. No, no, the referee. Referee eventually decides there's a knock on in there somewhere. I'm sure the hands are very cold. It's a very cool night here at uh, Post Office Road. And it puts out to, uh, out to Normington. Conway plays the blind side. Dummies, and he's over. And a try there from uh, Andy Conway. The Normington standoff puts them back in the game. That's 16 points to six. The goal kick to come. Conway. Spotted the gap down the blind side, sold the dummy and charged over the line and was he delighted to put that ball down. And here's David Walker, the Normanton left winger to uh, try and tag on the goal points. Bit of a prolific kicker I'm told, this lad, but uh, not on this occasion. So the score remains at 16 points to six in favour of Street House. Kevin Dawson to uh, kick off, puts it deep, but uh, well controlled there by his oppo opposite number, number Andy Conway, he gets the ball out, but uh, good tackling there, Paul Ellington, the man on the street outside, effecting that tackle, Bowery taps the ball to himself, no marker, he's quite right, in order, 
Curtin makes the tackle. Good ball. But good tackle there. Pearson. And the ball. Well, straight in. It will be a scrum down. Wasn't the sixth tackle. to go to half time street house 20 normington a6 and uh, david walker puts boot to ball allington picks up well but good tackle there, good tackle from Larry Carter. Hepworth, again Carter is in on the tackle with Nigel Shepherd. Here's Craig Orm, oh but he's well met. Good tackling from Shepherd and Webb there for Normington. Heard, again good tackling and it's warming up now. Curtin. Tries to catch him unawares from the play the ball, but doesn't do so. Last tackle coming up. Ball back. Dawson kicks. Finds some space in the middle of the park. But it's picked up there by uh, Phil Summers. Chance Leak making the tackle. Ball's there again. But that was Alan Worrell making a good diagonal run there. Oh, that was the knock on there, but it was an awful ball to take, and I'm sure Conway won't be too pleased either with himself or the passer of the ball there. And handing out the referee spots there, a penalty to Normington. Time it's Conway to put to touch. And, uh, Conway himself. And another penalty. And Conway again finds touch. Carter brings on uh, Bowery. He's met by Curtin. And uh, well, well done there from uh, Neil Webb. Gets away from one tackle before he's put down. Conway, Jinkin. But he's pulled down some 10 yards out. Out it comes now. Oh, well taken there. It's Davis uh, having to 
Take that ball from behind him, Conway, he's nobody to pass to, he has to go himself, now he's got somebody. Oh, here's a chance, Davis, what a good tackle there. What a good tackle from Pearson, halts him some two, three yards out. And the penalty here. Neil Webb adjudged to have been tackled there before he released the ball. And he was looking for support. Referee penalises Normington for stealing the ball after the tackle was completed. Dawson again with a chance to put to touch. As half time approaches. Touch safely. Moles onto Hurd. Met by Webb and Smart. Moles again. Oh, what a good game this lad's having. Made 10 yards there, direct from the play of the ball. The ball comes out from Curtin there. Onto uh, Kev Dawson, but uh, Allington is uh, halted in his tracks. Hepworth now. Slips away from one tackle, or almost does so. He's brought down on the 25 yard line. Curtin. Oh, Allen. But again, good tackling from Normington. And just uh, gently put into touch there by Craig Arm. And a scrum down will the crew. He's, uh, Playing injury time now in this first half as Normanton come away with it. And there indeed goes the half time whistle. With the score at the moment after some tremendous rugby from both sides, Street House 20 points and Normanton 6. It was Street House who took the early lead with two penalty goals from Kevin Dawson before indeed it was Nigel Curtin, the uh, Street House hooker, who put the first try on the board with the conversion again from Kevin Dawson and then there was a further try to Street House uh, from Stephen Hepworth, the uh, second row forward that was broken up by a goal from David Walker of Normington A and it was uh, the Normington standoff Andy Conway who reduced the deficit, deficit from uh, to 16 points to 6 with a try with some 10 minutes to go to half time but almost immediately Street House replied with great work from Rob Moles the uh, scrum half as he sent away right winger Gordon Long into the corner for a try Kev uh, Dawson missed the goal kick but that left the score at half time Street House 20 and Normie to 6 set for the second half and uh, if it's anything like that fast and furious first half we'll see some good rugby played and it's going to be Normington to kick off and get the game going in the second half as Street House feel the ball and come forward and this is good running Adrian Hurd Takes two Normington tacklers to drag him down. This is enterprising stuff from uh, Street House, but uh, good tackling there too from Richard Davis of Normington. Oh, that's a good ball, but the referee adjudges it to be forward. And he was right on the spot as uh, Craig Arm went gratefully into the gap there only to be pulled back much I'm sure to his disappointment referee uh, awards the penalty again for handing out but this time against Normington Aww. 
Dawson decides to place the kick. Again, finds a safe touch and gives uh, Norman to uh, rather straight out the platform to uh, to build on this 20 points to six lead. through Terry Leak. Adrian Hurd now <laughs> takes the drive once again takes two tacklers to pull him down and a little move work nicely there with the fullback Darren Harrison coming into the line all to no avail as the ball is moved across Again, the Normanton tacklers are up very quickly. This is out Dawson. This time it's Lee. He gets it to Pearson. He steps inside his man. But he's hauled down there in the end by Andy Conway, the Normanton standoff. Dawson decides to kick. Oh, the ball's loose, but well dropped there and well picked up. And uh, the referee has got to have words here with uh, Kevin Dawson. I think. Uh, Use of the knees, perhaps there. Doesn't actually give the signal, but uh, I'm sure that's what it was for. David Walker. Normanton now to try and uh, bring it away. Hooker Larry Carter takes the first drive. He's met there. Firm tackling from uh, Adrian Hurd and Nidge Curtin. Again, it's Hurd. And uh, time it was leaking the tackle with Hurd. Webb. But uh, good tackling again from Street House. Oh, good run here. That's good work from Alan Waddell. Just couldn't quite get in the clear there. Conway. Kicks well for touch there. Scrum down and the referee signals the uh, head and ball. Goes in favour of Street House. As, uh, Adrian Hurt seems to have a slight boot problem at the moment. <laughs> 20 points to six the score. Hurt seems to have done the repair work now and it's uh, scrum down. Ball to Normington, one against the head. Good drive from the Normington pack there. As Davis gets the ball away well there. Hudson. And the knock on there. Well, it never seems to go right when you're losing, does it? Rolls to put the ball in. by Street House. Oh, good ball, Dawson. Again, straight from the scrum, attacking with the great confidence, Street House. Looking for support, finds it. And uh, fullback Darren Harrison up well in support there. Third, bounces off one tackle. And I think the referee will give a penalty here for use of the elbow by Hurd. Yes, he does. Brought the elbow up there on the tackler, Richard Davis. And the, the referee, well spotted there, the referee, the number of times that goes in notice in the game. Well, well. Mr. Whiteley was on top of that one. Carter 
That's it. Goes himself. And only runs into uh, Allington and uh, Big Adrian Hurd. Curtain this time on the, t on the tackle. There goes Shepherd. Breaks one tackle, but uh, swamped by three street house players. The ball's loose. Play on. Oh, there could be a chance of an opportunity strike here, but well covered there. Kevin Dawson. Street house standoff there. Mopping up after that uh, chapter of errors on both sides there. And it will be Dawson who uh, will try to plant this drop kick as deep as he can. Hangs in the air. And it's gone loose. And an offside decision. And they followed that ball at well there, Street House put pressure on the player and have ended up with a penalty. Just shows the uh, value of following a kick up. Dawson again. He's certainly been in the action tonight, one way or another. Now, Street House. Coming forward through uh, Leak to there, Terry Leak. <laughs> Heard. Good run from him. Hepworth looking to release the ball to his supporting players there, Darren Harrison and uh, Christian Sleek. Couldn't get it away. It's still pressure from Street House at the moment. Out comes the ball. Moles. Good short ball. Full back Harrison. Gets the ball away. Pearson. The ball's gone loose. It's play on. League picks up. Goes himself. Steps out of a couple of tackles and the referee signals back to one. Moles gets it onto Hurd, plays the blind side, charges in, and he's brought down there by Richard Davis. Out it comes, Curtin. Here's Hepworth now, releases the ball to Allerton. Allerton's going himself, gets a good ball out there, and that looks a forward pass. It's gone long. Went in at the corner, the referee spotted a forward pass there and yes I thought that was fairly obvious there <laughs> but again good open rugby there from Street House they've certainly shown a willingness tonight to uh, swing the ball about but now they've got to do some tackling there's Normanton come away with it A little bit of crossing there, but the referee lets it go. Oh, and a good run here. And a good ball. Conway. Well, got it away, but unfortunately it's gone in the direction of a street house player. Good work there from uh, Richard Davis. Got the ball away to Conway, but uh, he was unable to find his supporting player. But Hurt finds his in Allerton. But he's brought down there by uh, the covering uh, Nick Smart. Leak gets it away. Harrison coming more and more into this game from the full back position. Moles decides to kick. He goes loose. It's play on. But a knock on there. As uh, Terry Leak wasn't uh, wasn't ready for that pass. So we'll have another scrummage. has the ball he's uh, knocked down by two Normanton tacklers there as Curtin drives himself certainly uh, this young hooker's work rate is uh, not to be faulted at all 
Hackworth. Again, the, uh, the strong tackling coming in from the red shirts of Normanton there. Now then, Hurd again goes the blind side. Gets out of one tackle, but uh, eventually put down. Moles onto Dawson. He gets the ball back to his half back partner. Here he goes again, the scrum half. Makes an opening. Oh, gets it away to Harris. Oh, what a tremendous try as Dean Pearson goes in. And that was teamwork at its best there. That really was good work. As Dean Pearson rounded off a move that involved, first of all, Kevin or Rob Moles, then Kevin Dawson. Moles supported the player. And then we had work there from Darren Harrison and he sent in Pearson. Showing a good pair of hands. Seeing the gaps out wide and unselfishly letting the ball go. As Kevin Dawson lands yet another goal. And the score now. Street out 26 and Normanton A6 by beating local rival Charleston. And a substitution as on comes uh, Crossland for Shepherd for Normington. And a substitution as uh, Terry Leach comes on for Adrian Hurd on the street outside. So it's changes all round. Now then, Street House bring it away. Looking for gaps. Oh, good work there. Chance leak. Looks a fine young player, this uh, Chance leak. The ball, ball seems to be lost there, but oh, uh, well, the referee says no. Certainly is this time. And put some uh, pressure on the uh, street house defence. And eventually the ball comes out there to uh, Normanton. And Street House are caught offside. And it's tapped quickly there. Could be a chance of a try here. Yes, the referee has given the try. The referee has given the try. So a quick reply from Normanton A there. I think the scorer. I think the scorer may have been uh, Richard Davis as he, he, got, he drove in there, or perhaps was it Larry Carter, the, the hooker? Tremendous kick there from David Walker. Well, that opens the game up again as the score now goes from 6 26 to 12 26, still in favour, of course, of Street House. Now, can Normington build on that? And the ball put deep. Ball control there. And here come on, oh what a good run, what a good run there from Barry Crossland. Well that seems to have given Normanton a bit of heart. Conway gets the ball away, oh my word this is tremendous play. Conway gets the ball away, it's play on. No, no the referee has called it back, he's eventually called the knock on but the touch judge is on. Well, 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 Normington showing their best paces there, really coming forward well. And if that ball had gone to hand, who knows, we may have had another try on the board in a real game on our hands. As it is, the touch judge is on. But uh, the referee dismisses whatever it was he had to say and calls for the scrum down. 
Heading ball to straight out from the ball. Straight through. And the scrum will form again. And this time the ball's out to Street House. Moles ducks under a tackler. But this time he's going nowhere. Oh, good run there. It's Kevin Dawson. Hepworth. It's a little bit bunched there, Street House. Curtain decides to take it on himself. Makes another good 10 yards. He certainly knows the way to go. Leak put down on the uh, Normington 25 yard line. Dawson puts it high in the air. This will test. And that tested Barry Crossland, but he was equal to the test. Took the ball well. Normanton now driving from the play the ball are they going to open it up here looking for the runners the ball's gone loose referee calls for the knock on and the ball's won against the head again by uh, Normanton the deficit, deficit to a, a manageable eight points it's an important kick oh drifts wide of the right hand post however Normington are back in the game with a vengeance there's plenty of time left yet and uh, they've really pegged Street House back as I say I thought they were coasting and uh, on their way to taking the trophy with no problems, but Normanton back in the game with a vengeance, as I say now. And great support coming from Normanton now. The crowd trying to lift the team. Certainly, this is the best spell of the game for Normanton. Oh, and uh, two knock, knock ons there, and the referee calls for the scrum down and uh, awards the head and ball in favour of Normanton. And they've won it. More pressure now from Normington. The ball. Wayne Westwood, strong runner this lad. I remember him playing two years ago in the final. And uh, no way through that time for Laddie Carter. And it comes again. 
Davis getting past one man, but uh, all down in the end by uh, Curtin. Conway gets the ball away. The ball's loose. Oh, a chance for Street out to come away with it. Dawson gets it to his wingman. And defence into attack. In a moment there, and the referee calls Normanton offside, and what a relief that will be for Street House. They've really had to withstand some pressure in the last 10 minutes, but they'll be glad of this penalty kick to uh, relieve the tension. Gosh, what a game we have here. Oh, and a knock on there. Well, Terry Lee. Took his eye off the ball there. And certainly this purple patch from Normington seems to have uh, ruffled uh, Street House somewhat, but that's a great drive in the pack from Street House, but the referee says handing out and uh, the penalty goes to Street House. What will they do here? Will it be a kick at goal from Kevin Dawson? No, he's going for touch. No, it'll be Normanton's turn to uh, hold the opposition out. A thrilling game we're having here at Post Office Road. As Leek goes forward there, but uh, to no avail. Some uh, eight yards out now, Street House. As they mount another attack, as Hepworth goes for the line. And the ball's loose. And play on, says the referee, as uh, Street House. Dive on it through Kevin Dawson. A good inside ball there. And Terry Leak going for the line, but he's held it some two yards out. Curtin, will he go himself? He does. But no way through this time. Normanton have weighed that one up. Little chip over the top, it's a beauty. And a try. Dawson. Well, 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 what a try from the lad. He saw the gap at the back of the post, chipped it over, picked it up and just put it down. There wasn't a Normanton player anywhere near him. He said thank you very much, put the ball down and Bob's your uncle, Street House, put another four points on the board. And Kevin Dawson has a chance to... Uh, Convert his own try now. 30 points to 16 the score. And that's 32 points to 16. Well, this game's switching this way and that, but I think perhaps Normanton's last chance have gone now. Street House have again opened up a 16 point lead, but who knows? It's a game of changing fortunes. Anything could happen. Street House again with the ball, taking it away from their own 25. Leak. Ball comes out to Dawson. Good work here as Pearson takes it on. And that's a high tackle. That's a high tackle there. Full back, uh, Phil Summers. He's in for a little bit of a lecture here from the referee. Indeed, his name's going down into the book. And I'm sure he's warning him. If that happens again, Sunshine. It's bye-bye, you're off the field. I'm sure the referee doesn't want to send anybody off in the game, but... Uh, And he's certainly giving him a very stern lecture there. I'm 
sure Phil Summers knows where he stands after that uh, little talk into there from Mr. Whiteley. Kevin Dawson. And I'm sure that uh, Kevin can't be far off the uh, the George Wilkinson man of the, man of the match trophy, but there's any number of players who could earn that one. Terry Leak and uh, I'm afraid the touch judge is on. And there's gonna be words spoken here. It's uh, Terry Leak himself who's being brought forward. Mr. Whiteley exercising his vocal cords yet again. And pointing in the direction of the dressing room, I'm sure, saying again, I don't want to send you off sunshine, but uh, if you don't behave yourself, that's where you're going. And he comes back with a bit of a smile on his face, as a lad. Put deep there. There goes Larry Carter, but he's met by three tacklers. Waddle, no way through for him. He taps the ball, that's play on. No marker. Just couldn't slip away from the tackle there of uh, Terry Leak. Nick Smart trying to work a move, but uh, nothing there for him. Conway, good ball out there. And he receives it back from uh, loose forward Smart. Westwood gets it away, runs round. There must be a chance here. And there is a try. Uh, right centre Davis who goes over this time for Normington so again the gap closes this time to uh, 20 points to Normington and 32 to Street House with the goal kick to come I'm sure from David Walker So that makes it Normington 22, Street House 32. What an open game of rugby league we've had tonight. Played in the true spirit of the game, a very open game tonight. Just the odd uh, little ticket off from the referee for one or two incidents, but uh, nothing serious. Both teams have contributed a great deal. And here come Normington. Oh, they're not finished yet, and Skelly goes on. And a knock on there from from Larry Carter, but one has to admire this Normington side, they've thrown caution to the wind and they're really going for it. But I'm afraid Carter's down, he's hurt. Sadly, sadly Larry Carter is having to leave the field. What a shame in such a, a tremendous game that we've seen tonight that somebody has to come off the field. And it's uh, Bowery who comes back onto the field. The ball is won by Streethouse and there must be an offside decision there against Alan Worrell. No props that quick. <laughs> Kevin Dawson. and uh, into touch nicely there and with some five six minutes to go before the end of the game I'm sure Street House will be looking for another score to make absolutely sure of this game as Leak charges forward there Terry Leak Mulls at the play the ball he finds Nigel Curtin 
He's there again, Moles. Works a move. But Andy Kermont. And we haven't seen an awful lot of Andy in this game so far. Gets a chance to drive at the Normanton defence, but gets tackled well there. But that's good handling from Street House. And there's some eight yards out now. As Leek goes to the play of the ball. Dummies. Goes the blind side. Two yards out. One yard out. Out it comes now. A little chip through from Dawson. And a knock on there that the referee spots. Dawson trying to catch uh, Normington unawares with one of those uh, tricky little uh, chip throughs there. Didn't quite come off for him that time, but the scrummage is uh, Heading ball does go to Street House through the knock on. And they've won it. And there must be a try here as Chancellor strolls over. Good work from the back of the scrum there. Seals the game with uh, only four minutes to go. As Kevin Dawson lands yet another goal. What a night he's had for kicking tonight. Tonight, and that's 38 points to 22. Well, 60 points scored in the game. Substitution being made. As Sean Bonson is on the field. Street House again. Hepworth plays the ball. Now then, will Street House be content to uh, hang on to this ball for six tackles or are they going to open it out again? Curtain. And it looks like the order's gone out. Hang on. Nothing silly. Last tackle coming up. And uh, Lee has it. He kicks it straight into the uh, grateful hands of Summers there. Westwood skips away from a tackle. Conway gets rid of the ball in the end there to Neil Webb. But, uh, Going nowhere, and the referee right on the spot sees a knock on. Moles. Oh, he's away again. Oh, what good running from the scrum half. He's another one who uh, could well be in line for the Man of the Match Award, the George Wilkinson Trophy. Oh, great work there from the captain Dawson. He gets it away to Gordon Long. And out it comes, Curtin here. Midge goes for the line. And uh, Sean Bonson looking for a bit of glory, takes it on himself there. Dawson, he gets it out to Leek. And there's Terry Leek. Last tackle coming up. And uh, <laughs> there's Terry Leek dives over there. The referee's whistle goes. He says that he didn't play the ball correctly there. And the penalty goes to Normington. We certainly have been treated tonight, and the ball's not in touch. Oh, well run by Andy K. 
Kermod gets a good ball away. Oh, this is good work, Allington, but just steps into touch. And there goes the final whistle and the final score. Street House, 38 points, and Normington, 22, in what has been an exciting game of rugby league football. And a credit to the West Yorkshire League and the teams that have contested this final. Try scored for Street House by Gordon Long. Try scored for Street Street House by Gordon Long, Dean Pearson, Kevin Dawson, Nigel Curtin, and Stephen Hepworth. With uh, seven goals coming from uh, Kevin Dawson, the captain of the Street House side. In reply. Davis has a, a couple of tries for Normington. Larry Carter has a try from for Normington. And we have four goals from David Walker for the Normington A side. And what delight there is for the Street House players as they once again lift this trophy for the second year running. The West Yorkshire Cup belongs to Street House. But let's not forget Normington and what a good performance, particularly in the second half they've given to come back from 26 points to 6 down to bring it back to 26 points to 16 and really look dangerous at one point in this second half. And Normington coming up to receive their losers medals and as I say, what a part they've played in this game and re receiving and deserving a tremendous round of applause from this good crowd here at Post Office Road. It'll be interesting to see who has received the Man of the Match award. Myself, I will be looking in the direction of either of the street half-backs, Kevin Dawson or Rob Moles. Then again, uh, Nigel Curtin's had a very solid game for uh, street house from the hooking position. Not to forget the good work done by Andy Conway, also on Normanton's side. Here come the winners now, led by their captain Kevin Dawson, and he lifts the trophy, and I'm sure, to, sure he's absolutely delighted with it, as are all those street house fellas. presenting the trophies I'm sure he like the rest of us has enjoyed this game of uh, rugby league tonight it really has shown all that's good in the game there's been some super tries scored the referee has handled the game well it's never got out of hand and here comes the referee Mr Whiteley one or two boos, but quite a lot of applause for the referee and his, uh, his two uh, touch judges as well, and quite rightly so, he's done a good job tonight. And the uh, Street House chorus is in full voice at the moment. There's Trevor Bailey, the uh, street house coach down there. He looks delighted, and I'm sure he's every right to be. As we uh, sign off from Post Office Road after yet another tremendous West Yorkshire Cup final, one wonders how they can get any better. Thanks for watching David Gray TV.